This six foot nine inch Serbian basketball player is at the center of an international dispute between the U.S. and Serbia. American authorities have charged 20 year old Miladin Kovacevic with assault and want him back in the U.S. They say he jumped bail earlier this summer after beating 22 year old Ryan Steinhauer into a coma during a brawl at this bar in Binghamton, New York, where the two men were students. Wednesday, at this Belgrade courthouse, Serbian authorities questioned Kovacevic and his mother. They want to know whether a former Serbian diplomat gave the young man emergency travel documents that enabled him to get out of the U.S. quickly and return to Serbia, which says its laws won't allow him to be extradited. Kovacevic left the courthouse without talking to reporters Wednesday, but his father applauded Serbian authorities for accepting the family's request to have the trial held there. We are thankful of the right interpretation of the Serbian constitution and law, and we will not accept any trial in any other country, especially in the United States. And his mother stuck up for the former diplomat, calling him an honest man who helped save her son. Meantime, Steinhauer has only recently emerged from a coma. Here's what his father said earlier this summer. There's times where he seems to get a little more consciousness of his situation and starts yelling and screaming and crying. And it's like a dagger in your heart. After Kovacevic left the U.S., the Serbian diplomat was recalled to Serbia and lost his job. Today, it appears Kovacevic will stay in Serbia, where he has signed a contract to play for a basketball team in a regional league. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.